Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Today I will be doing a review on the pepper shaker. I'm gonna cover uh, where to find all the mods for it, if it's good, and definitely showcase it a little bit so you can get an idea if this is the weapon for you or not. So let's get into it. So the pepper shaker that I will be using in this video is a vampire's faster fire rate. I thought this was a good one to use considering it doesn't really do any extra damage like an anti-armor or possibly a two shot. I thought a vampire's was a good one and I did construct my perks around this weapon as well when you are, when I, well, when I'm going over the perks. So to get this weapon, you can have a friend make it for you that already knows the plan, because unfortunately the plan for this is only obtained by doing Graham's Cookout when Meat Week is available, which it isn't, and I'm not sure when it will be available next, so you might want to get a friend to make this for you. If I'm online or streaming, I'll gladly make this for you if you hop on and say hi. Now for the mods, I do recommend the dual barrel because um, it is more damage per second. You can have the other mods if you want, but I do recommend the dual mod or the dual mag it's called there, I think. And I want to talk about the laser magazine because from what I've read, it's very similar to the plasma magazine, other than the fact that fusion cells are way easier to get than plasma cartridges and they weigh less. So I do recommend the laser magazine as well. And the standard gunner sights, pretty much. Not standard, but gunner sights. And it doesn't have any skins for it that I am aware of. And then you're gonna wanna maybe roll some, you know, modules and hopefully you can get a good one like I did. I would definitely recommend a quad or an anti-armor. Three star, of course. Now to get the plans for this, you do have to have part of the main quest done, and that involves the raiders and the settlers. And then when you're done, you'll be able to come to Vault 79 and you'll be able to purchase the plans for it with gold bullion from Rex, which I'm showing here. If you can't get through this door, then you need to finish the quest. And then he will have all the pepper shaker plans available to you. There aren't very many, many of them, and you really only need to buy the ones that I showed. Now to cover the perks that I'm using for this, I just wanted to go over if you want to get maximum DPS, then under strength this is what you're going to want to have. Um, you could mix it up as well, but I put level 3 heavy gunners on, all three of them, expert, master, and the regular. But what I did with the shotguns is, is I put on a level 3, a level 2, and a level 1. And this is because the initial perk card gives you 10% damage, whereas in the subsequent ones that you use to upgrade your perks only give you 5%. So if I put on a level 3 Master Shotgunner and a level 3 Expert Shotgunner, rather than doing it this way, I will be losing out on 5% damage. So doing it this way, you have 45% extra damage rather than 40 I know it's a bit confusing, but trust me, it makes sense. I do recommend Skeet Shooter. It is great for the spread and the accuracy. Um, of course, you can switch a lot of this up. This is just what I made up quick to, you know, make this gun work very good. And I do recommend um, Enforcer and One Gun Army because that's what makes this gun so good is the uh, fact that it pretty much just instantly cripples everything of course you're gonna want bloody mess on adrenaline you know stabilized is another one i highly recommend but these are the perk cards that i used and if you want to use them i'm sure it's not going to get much better than this for legendary perks this is what i used as well again of course you can switch this up if you want um, but this is just what i recommend or what i used and i found the gun worked pretty good or as good as it can work anyway Okay, now to showcase the gun a little bit. So my opinion of this gun is, is it's it's just maybe a little bit above average, I would have to say. Now, if you have an explosive one, you know, which is basically a legacy, I don't think you can even get them anymore, anymore but I just thought I would mention that. But just it being without the explosive, I don't find the pepper shaker too amazing, if I'm being honest. It's a lot of fun to use. The sound of the fire rate is very um, satisfying and the really good thing about this weapon is, as you can see, it cripples enemies. Like, this Meyer Alert Queen couldn't even move. But I have to say there are a lot better guns is what I'm getting to. It's definitely usable, but I wouldn't go fight a Queen or Earl solo with it. 
Like you can see here with the high priest, like it takes more than a couple shots. Like if you have a good fixer build, it's like pop up and they're dead. <laughs> so like I said, there are better builds. But if you're kind of like a casual player and you don't really you know, do a lot of queen fights. Even if you do and you have help, this gun will work great. And it will probably take out a queen and earl and whatever. It just would take a lot longer than, say, a railway or um, a fixer or um, even um, a gatling plasma. It just doesn't hold up to those guns, in my opinion. But it is a lot of fun to use. And like I said, the fire sound is very satisfying. Now, just to showcase the crippling effect that this does, like, you can see here that I didn't even, you know, try to shoot him more than a couple times, and it just crippled him. And it actually gets to the point here where I tried seeing if I could jump on top of him to get a good screenshot for this video. But that's the good thing about this weapon, is that it just cripples everything, so... Like I said, if you're just fighting regular mod mobs and going about, you know, just doing your own thing on here, rather than joining like a lot of boss fights then this gun might be for you like i said it's a lot of fun you can see i tried jumping on him here but he couldn't do anything once i had him crippled and the same thing goes for any enemy if you don't kill them you're pretty much gonna cripple them as you can see here it's not doing like noticeable damage to the queen um, most of the damage you're seeing in this uh, clip right here is actually from a railway rifle somebody had and uh, yeah, like I said, I just wouldn't go soloing end game bosses with this weapon, but it's more than fun to show up to the event with, and you definitely will help more than a little. Like I said, you can take out end game enemies with it, it just might take you a long time. And, that, and that's pretty much it, everybody. Um, I hope I covered everything. If I didn't, let me know in the comments, and I'll probably pin your comment, but I think I covered everything. And overall assessment, to come to a conclusion here, is it's just pretty much an average gun. And it's not the easiest to obtain unless you can find a friend that can craft it for you. But that's my opinion on this weapon, everybody. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And thanks again, everybody, for watching my videos. I really appreciate it, and have a great day.